hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we are going to build a personal portfolio website without writing any line of code this is the website that we are going to create in this video this is multiple page website with home about portfolio and contact page if you want to build your website in less than 15 minutes then you can choose wordpress with bluehost hosting you will find this website's link in the video description. Just click on that link and come to this website. To build your website, you need a website name that is called a domain name. It is hard to find the domain name that exact matches your business name. That's why I recommend you to go with new trending top level domains that is .co, .biz and .club. .co domain name can be used for any kind of website including your personal website. It is short and memorable domain name. .biz is another trending domain name for any small or large businesses. If you are building a website to make an online community then you can choose .club domain name. You can get these domain name absolutely free with Bluehost hosting plan. So let's check out the Bluehost plan. Here we get WordPress hosting that comes with pre-installed WordPress, just we have to customize the website. The second plan is a standard builder plan where you can build your website with drag and drop website builder and pre-built templates. In third option you can request the consultation with Bluehost and they will build the website for you. In any of the Bluehost hosting plan you will get free SSL certificate and free domain name for one year. Let me choose the first plan, click here. In this search box, you have to search a domain name. In this drop down, you can select .co, .biz or .club. Let me enter my name here and select .co domain. After selecting the domain name, you will come to this page. Here you have to create an account. You can use Google account for sign up. After that, fill these information. In this package information, you have to select the duration. If you will select the longer duration, you will get maximum discount. I will select 12 months. Here we are getting domain name and SSL for free. Then you can make the payment with any debit card, credit card, net banking, UPI or any e-wallet. After completing the payment, you will come to this page. Here click on this button create your website then here I will click on a skip and here it is asking the website type we will create the portfolio website so I will click on this one here it is asking what type is it I will select personal and here let's select myself then click on continue here it is asking the website title you can write the website uh, title here. I am creating this website for myself. So I will write my name here. I will leave the tagline empty. You can write the tagline also. Let's click on continue. And after that it is asking to select the theme for the website. I will select the theme later. So let's uh, scroll down and click on this uh, skip link. Uh, skip this uh, step. After that it is installing the WordPress on our domain name. Now you will see this page, here you will see a button login into WordPress. Let's click here and it will open our WordPress dashboard. So this is our WordPress dashboard. If you want to check our website, let's click here, visit site and you can see the WordPress has been installed on our website. It is the domain name abinascare.co that we have selected while purchasing the hosting. So this is the basic WordPress website. Next we have to customize the website. We will add different theme and content. So let's come back to the dashboard again. And here first we will disable all the pre-installed plugins. So let's click on plugins. And here you can see a list of plugins that is active on this website. So let's select these checkbox. and click on this drop down and select deactivate first we will deactivate the plugin 
then again select these checkbox select all plugins except bluehost because we need that bluehost plugin so after selecting that let's click here and select delete and apply so we have deleted all the plugins except bluehost after that we will click on appearance here you will see the theme which is active on this website next we have to add a new theme so click here on add new and here you can see a list of theme that you can install here we have one theme called astra if it is not there you can search in this search box also here in this search box i will write astra and here it is now we will click on install then click on activate to activate this theme on our website after that you can see this message here we will click on astra options now you can see a starter template let's click here and it will take you to this page here we will click build your website now here we have to select the page builder so i will select elementor and here we have lots of theme that you can use to create different categories of website so i will search a theme in this search box let me search for personal portfolio so here is the first theme that we are going to use just click here and you can select the logo here i will add the logo later so let's click on this button called skip and continue here you can change the theme color and font style let's click on continue again we have some checkbox then we have this button let's click on this button submit and build the website now it will import the dummy content on our website after that you will see this message congratulations let's click on this button it will open our website now you can see the dummy content has been added on our website and it looks very nice right now you can see a message here site status coming soon so we have to disable the coming soon status let's come back to the dashboard again and click on the blue host then click on settings here we have the toggle button just click here and turn it off after that refresh the website you can see site status live now let's come back and click on users and here you will get your users information just click here and scroll down here you can set the new password for your wordpress login let's click here set new password and enter a new password here then click on update profile now you can log in into wordpress with new password let's click on the pages and here you will find the pages which is live on your website so here we have the about contact home page portfolio so let's click on this link edit with elementor click here and it will open the home page with elementor plugin so here you can replace the content on this website let's scroll down you can see we can click on any part of this website and edit that content let me click this title so let's click here and uh, select this text and add a new text so i will write my name here you can select any text and change the content let's click on this button and here you can change the button text now let me click on this image and in the left side you can see this image click here and here in this button you can click and upload a new image from your computer to replace the image that is how you can replace the image if you want to change the social media link just click here here you can add the linkedin url then click here here you can add the instagram url this is how you can change the social media profile if you want to change the background color just click here and click on style here you can change the color we can drag like this to change the background color so it's very easy to update the content on the website after changing everything just click on this update button to save the changes let me come back to the dashboard here you can go to other pages and update the content on other pages
let's open the website here we have the logo this menu link so how to update the logo and these menu for that we will come back to the dashboard and click here on appearance and customize here you can see site identity just click here and click on this site title and logo here you can upload the site icon let's click here and here you can see the existing logo you can click on this button to change the logo click here and upload a new logo from your computer let's close this one and come back here we have the menu click here main menu and you can see the list of menu which is here in this navigation bar you can click on this button to add a new item in this menu bar and let's click here and you can click on this remove link to remove the item from menu bar now let's close this customization and come back to the website here i will click on log out so after logout this is how the website will look like and if you want to log into your website dashboard again just come to the url and type domain name slash wp dash admin it will display this login page enter the username and password and click on login so this is how you can log into your dashboard after completing this website let me come back to the bluehost account again here we will click on my sites so it will display the site associated in your account here it is let's click on this button manage site now we'll go to performance here you can see the cloudflare cdn is set up by default now we will go to the another tab let's click on security here you can see we have the ssl certificate by let's encrypt which is active now we'll come to the settings here you can see the site url this is the domain name and if you want to move your site to another domain name you can add the domain name here now click here on my domains and here you can see the list of domains purchased in your bluehost account now you know how to build your website with wordpress and how to manage the hosting and domain with bluehost so just get your .co .biz or .club domain name from bluehost and start building your website you will find this website's link in the description just click on that link and come to this website and start building your website with .co.biz or .club domain name with Bluehost WordPress hosting. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.